All right, so we'll take we'll take flesh face back to the meat kraken or the flesh kraken. There's a lot of I'd like a lot of this stuff, but it's like the idea of the flesh kraken sounds awesome. One thing, one little quibble I do have is when everything is like called a flesh something, it kind of loses the impact of just being a big pile of flesh. I don't even know if that's really a negative thing. It's definitely, like, you can mix it up a bit. Call it the Viscera Kraken or something like that. The awful Kraken. So let's go through here. We're gonna skip past the Festering Gorge. See what else we can find. I wonder if anything's ch changed here. Citizenship revoked. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick that up. There was enemies around here. I wonder if they respawned. Okay, there's those meat slugs. Okay, there was enemies here before. I killed them, and it appears that they have stayed dead. So I'm not going to complain about that. But there's always a possibility that you're entering... Uh, entering an area you've already been in, and some new enemies happen to be there. No reload needed. Thank you. Okay, cool. Caves. I'm totally going to abuse that thing where you can see vision cones whenever you're in stealth mode. This doesn't look useful. And finger. That was must have gotten that already, and it's regrown. Which kind of implies that you can just farm for items in different areas. Or maybe at a certain point, items just regrow. Alright. Friends. Here. How about this one? Oh, this looks interesting. Machine. Small. Swallow. Swallow? You want to eat it? What? Did it say anything? You can't hear it? No. Eat. Alive. Process. Eh, uh, it's pretty sure about wanting to eat you. Oof. There is a high chance my shell is resilient enough to survive this, but... I'm not so sure about getting stuck in the bowels of some giant monster. Eat. Alive process I'm not really sure if I want to feed flesh face to the flesh kraken and it's funny because flesh face seems to have some autonomy to him he's not just a mindless android or cyborg do they describe him as a, as a cyborg or an android Either way, he is... I guess maybe he's like a reverse cyborg. He started out as a robot and then started putting flesh on himself to look be more like a human. I'm gonna say no. I don't think so. Pondering. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to fight the flesh kraken or something. It didn't seem super stoked about eating flesh face, but you never know. You can stay here if you want. I don't mind. Empathy 2. Okay. Oh, yeah. That reminds me. I have to update our character sheet. Ah, heck. We'll go... We'll go into empathy some more. Animalism? Probably important. Hmm. 
Influences how fast other characters discover you. Increases backstabbing damage. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like focus more on melee. So we'll do melee sharp. And we will do... I'm really not sure how useful bartering is. Because it doesn't... I, I would assume it doesn't have an effect when you're dealing with a machine vendor. And I don't really have a good way to tell. And you know what, maybe I'll save that extra skill point for when I go back to town. Then I can compare prices, maybe. You can stay here if you want. Oh, I already talked here. Can I go back in here? I wonder. I don't think I've explored this way. This is going back towards the... Oh no, that's empty. I must have explored this way already. Can I go in here? No, it's locked. Oh. Is going in here a mistake? Are they going to kill me for trying to come back? Welcome, former citizen. You have been given your status in written form. We encourage you now to follow the service integration course. But you're free to leave any time you want. Kind of forgot that I gave the robots a special voice. Like a Gladys-type voice. I want to leave now. All right, just follow the small corridor to section two. I'll get the camera pans to show you. This middle door I never actually checked out. Wait, you're not allowed back to the ha habitat. You would risk contaminating the other citizens. To prevent this, your life will be terminated if you enter the prohibited zone. Please leave this corridor. Now, I wonder, is this going to be like a scripted death where I just die automatically? Or are they just going to try to attack me with powerful attacks? I already quick saved. Let's find out. Okay, no, it's a, it's a scripted death. You're entering restricted zone. I tried. Alright, well, let's carry back on. Back to our life on the surface. Maybe you do, maybe you do get the chance to go back to the habitat. I bet that's one of the endings, if there are multiple endings. I think I'm probably still way too early into the game to find out for sure. And seeing as it's an early access, and like I was saying last time, I don't know how far you can get, like, how much of the story is in the game. I would imagine that they want to leave something for the final release, story-wise. Okay, well, so quest items, what are my quests? Skills, quests, Flesh Kraken and friends. Find friends for, find friends for the Flesh Kraken. Kraken feels lonely and is in need of some company. Talk to the Flesh. Learn from the Flesh Kraken how, okay, maybe I should talk to the Flesh Kraken again. Because it seems like that quest is telling me to do that right now. I have way too much fun playing games where you can just use the WASD to do little dances. Friends, here. How about this one? Okay, so we're repeating this dialogue. I don't know, Fleshface. It's starting to make me think I have to feed you to the Flesh Kraken. 
What do you want to talk about, fellow human? I would like to talk about our plans. I would like to meet new people. Actually, I have someone big and meaty in need of a friend. Sounds intriguing. Maybe we should meet that someone. Hmm. I feel like the game is telling me I have to do this. Yeah, Nova is worried about my safety. I'm worried about my safety, too. I feel like the game is telling me I'm supposed to do it this way. Maybe there's an alternate path, or maybe an alternate solution. Like, maybe I could leave this area, find a totally new area, and find a new quest to go on, but... I think right now, this might be the way to go. Maybe... Maybe some alternate playthroughs will show the alternate path. Either way, I don't think I'm going to soft lock, soft lock myself doing this. I'm just going to lose flesh face, potentially. <laughs> Swallow. You want to eat it? Alright. Eat alive process. Alright, let's do this. Good luck, flesh face. Well, I guess it's for science or whatever. Eating. Hey, do you know how to talk to the flesh that's growing everywhere? Strong voice. Can you show me how? Pondering. Seeing. No wing. A sudden awareness of past and recent experiences washes over you. Okay. That did something. Wait. Okay, so now my mind... My mind palace is unlocked. The naked man memory is my... It, it, the image is forever yours. Flesh Kraken. Memory, max health plus two. Friendship, society, amusement. So... I can equip that. I cannot equip the naked man memory. That's okay. So, these are like... These are like buffs that you can just keep on your mind. And they just do stuff for you. It probably has a story effect as well, though. I've got these as well. I never did use my shock ability. I keep forgetting that I have that. There we go. And maybe I'll put my my cue onto these organs instead of the the med pack. Actually, can I talk to that woman again? She, see if she tells me anything different this time. No. All right, we'll head back. Head back to town and talk to Mortis. See if that changes anything. Not really clear what happened, but my mind palace is unlocked, so hopefully that allows me to do more stuff. And maybe there's some new developments in town that'll happen as well. Citizenship revoked. I kind of want to just wander around, but I feel like that might also be a bad idea. Now that you have a voice, talk to the Flesh Nexus. Okay. Actually, before I go any further, I'm going to take a short break. But I will be back in five minutes at the most. So I will see you shortly. Hey, it's me again, Widem from the future. You probably already guessed why I'm here. Not for as long this time. So let's take a look and see where we were at. Um, 
I'm doing this late at night. <laughs> Don't actually particularly remember where we left off. But we are on our way back to Taurus after the flesh kraken. Yeah, and again, my camera is in black and white to help remind you that I am the Widem from the future. I'm not fully playing right now. The Widem of the past is playing right now at the moment. Or the Widem of the present. Pre present in relation to the Widem that is talking in the video previous to me, but is not talking right now. Who I, who's talking right now is the Widem from the future, which is my present. Regardless, we're going back to see Mortis. And we saw this locker here that we didn't pick the lock of. Did I? Oh, I did end up picking its lock. And we got... Immediate danger. Okay. So we got a note. A note about Marla. We got some metal. We got some stuff. And there's this other note about humanity and self-determinism, but... Look at the new one. Marla? Curious when I mentioned the Titans. Longing in her eyes. Refugee from the habitats. Hard to prove. May be possessed. Have to be careful. Puppeteer. Crafty. Who taught him? Why would the collectors not recruit him? Creep. Agira. Demir. Motivations? So, these appear to be Mortis's notes on the different people that live in town. But I'm not quite sure who the puppeteer is supposed to be. I appear to be responding to something, but I can't really remember what was going on. Yeah, this is Widem of the present. My, the future, not the present. My present. Humanity and self-determinism. Installed, redacted. Okay, yeah. So we did read this previously. This is a note I'd looked at, and I have the option to memorize. And I think I ended up throwing away this note. We're doing something with it to get rid of it. Because I want to see if it has an effect. I don't know if I totally agree with the contents of the note. About humanity not being able to govern itself. So at this point, I'm still ha I still have the note, but with plans to get rid of it and not memorize it. I don't know if that actually makes a difference, but we'll see. You return, Mortis says. I feel ready to talk to the next Flesh Nexus now. Alright, how would you do it? Don't know how, but I feel like I have a voice now. Interesting. Please give it a try. Anything else? Made any progress recently with your studies? Not really? Okay, he's repeating some previous dialogue. So yeah. I knew that me, future Widem, would have to come back and read through this, because this is kind of an important event. The Flesh Nexus is calling you. Try to answer. You reach out, and the Flesh Nexus is aware of you. You let the flesh enter your mind. And I'm sucked in. So. This, is, this sequence will be kind of a bit of a shock to past YDM. Or present YDM. But not a shock to me, future YDM. So now I'm in control of a flesh worm, as you can see. And there's stuff going on north of me. I'm being blocked here. So I have to kind of fight my way through. I'm gonna turn out the video. The video's audio, so you can hear it a bit better. And <laughs> that's where I press the Alt tab, the Alt key, and find out I can't stealth past this guy. But turns out maybe he's not an enemy. I eat another chunk of meat. I've eaten a few chunks of meat as the flesh worm. Three. And there's this guy. He cannot attack him. Nor should I. Who approaches me? A seeker? A hunter? Who are you? I gave myself like a weird sort of smaller voice. I am the guidance of thoughts. I am the voice of the Nexus, or voice of Nexus. I am the Oracle. 
I can sense you're afar, but you're on Nexus. You're part of our Nexus. You have to help me, Gear Ghosts. How do you not know my name? You are a worm shaman, right? And I am in need. I can feel his pulse. He's in search of me. You have to get me out of here before he finds me. How would I be able to get you out of here? Or how would I get you out of here? I, I don't know. <laughs> he gives you no information. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing about... Uh, the Oracle is not giving you any useful information whatsoever. <laughs> Get me out of here, please. But seriously, he calls himself the Oracle. You'd think he'd give you something. I mean, he gives you an objective. Help me! And that's that. And then the screen blacks out on its own, and I go back to my own body. Nova, what is it, dear? What is it, my dear? Nova wants to go to bed. The Flesh Nexus is calling you. you reach up, but the Flesh Nexus won't accept you. What did it say? The Flesh Nexus is calling you. You reach out, and the Flesh Nexus is aware of you. The Nexus emits a warm feeling towards you, but remains silent. So... Nothing else to do here. Is that what I look like when I'm looking at chat? You return. I've talked to the flesh nexus. You did? Is it... Are we talking about an intelligent being here? I'm not entirely sure about the flesh nexus itself. But there was someone in there communicating through the nexus called himself the Oracle, and he wants me to find him. Oh, but how? Why? I don't know yet. Fascinating. The Oracle mentioned a worm shaman. And if a worm shaman was bound to help the Oracle. That sounds odd. Yeah, it does sound odd. <laughs> I'm kind of losing it over how odd that sounds. At least, at least Mortis recognizes that. Yeah, and I just take a screenshot as well. Because why not? A shaman, you say? Maybe like that witch at the old trees? Yes, I think you should try talking to her. Alright. Alright, so... The witch is another story, but... Yeah, we get to this point. I'm not sure if this is where I realize that I've muted my phone. I don't remember what I'm doing here. I think maybe somebody just sent me a text message or something. Being a very professional streamer. Whatever I'm doing. I go back to town, up, up to the surface, and I'm looking around. What is my objective at this point? Other than just to go to the, the witch. Oh, I guess I'm looking that up. Yeah, find the Witch of the Old Trees. You don't actually have a specific location for where the Old Trees is at this point. I kind of get lucky with that, actually, but you'll see that in a minute. But I wander around, checking my bullets. Maybe I'm deciding to buy more bullets at this point? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm heading back towards the shop. Get to see me try to figure out in real time what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Goodness, I can't hear myself. All I can hear is... Well, I can't hear past Widem. All I can hear is me, present Widem. Which is, you know, his future what Future Widem. I'm the present. It's my present. He's the past. And I'm selling a bunch of stuff that I don't really need. Pretty much anything that says can be sold at merchants for the description. This is when I noticed that, oh, actually, there is a difference between the red and the black. Because red is fire resistance. Previous, but before this, I had thought they were both energy resistance. So that's kind of a useful, a useful thing to find out. And this is where I sell the self-determinism pamphlet. 
which philosophically like in real life there's some i feel like there's some substance to the argument but i also feel like it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy when you decide to believe in that sort of thing. The idea that people can't govern themselves. But once once you decide that is true, then it may as well be your truth. And doing whatever you do is only going to further that as a possible truth. Not as an objective truth, but something that you have decided and you're going to, you know, will people to do. What are you doing over there? The cats are going nuts. Yeah, and that's me looking through here. I forget if I end up getting a new implant at this point. I checked with Torald, and I remind myself, oh, he does your respec. He's, he's your, you know, in Dark Souls, you have the Dark Souls 3, you have that lady that's like a giant maggot. And yeah, this is this is when I go. What are you doing? They're playing with some. I should probably check on that in a minute. And this is where I decide to get. No, actually, I can't get Legion yet. I just don't have that ability. I mean, rather, I don't have the ability, but I also don't have the money for it. And I also don't happen to notice that it requires you to have three in occult occultism, which I don't have either. I'll be right back. Oh, and I'm adjusting my camera, not actually paying attention to my mic. Burning blood, poisons enemies. I'm not sure how useful that would be. Minion of flesh, that stuff does sound like it'd be useful as well. Legion of Flesh. Legion of Flesh sounds like it's the most powerful one there. But I guess we'll see what happens when I do get it. Hey, what you doing? What's going on over there? Come in. Ah. Anyway, I'm looking through here. Oh yeah, so I wanted to talk with Marla just to see if there's any new dialogue after reading that note from Mortis, but as it turns out, there isn't. I wanted to see if there's anything I could ask her, like, about Mortis. Holy, my cats are on a tear right now. There we go. I thought for sure that I unmuted this. <laughs> Thank you, Peppery Pam. I'm no it's longer the first here. time I've done that. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I thought for sure that I unmuted this. <laughs> Thank you, Peppery Pam. It's not the first time I've done that. All right. So like I was saying, We've got a quest. We've got a quest to find the witch at the old woods, but we don't actually know where the old woods are. And yeah, quest. Find the witch at the old old trees, that's what it's called. And we don't have any information beyond that. And so, I guess, and it's not Marla. I was thinking it was Marla, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. So, let's just head out. And maybe we'll see where the old trees are here. The only other thing I can think of... So there's little bits and dots kind of rising up. There is the puke bar, which um, Custer told us to meet him at. So, maybe we'll just go there. I don't know where else to go right now. Unless this is the old trees here. And it's a very large old tree. Let's check it out. I haven't done any, like, exploring 
like this. Ooh. Okay, so there's an enemy. I'm assuming this is an enemy of some type. Ooh. Is it following me? It might be following me. Let's check this out. What is this place? That is a stranger. Okay. Old trees. Oh, this is where we need to go. That's kind of what I was thinking. Hey. Hello. Hello, stranger. It's not often we get visitors here. Are you a friend of the Titans? I think so, yes. Good. I'll keep an eye on you, but feel free to walk around. Alright. Question mark. Hey, you want to look at my stuff? Show me what you have. Okay, recipe, focus energy. Nice. So he buys and sells. What is a glibber? Crafting resource. Hmm. Oh, I never did put on my combat vest, so I can sell him my light vest. And I learn recipe bullets, rifle bullets. Show me what we got. And, oh, still not quite enough. What else can we sell here? Ooh, I did not mean to sell all of those. <laughs> well, I mean, whatever. It's fine. It's not like I needed to heal right now, anyway. Alright, so, got the focus energy. I feel like, since we had to travel for that, oh, that's poison. So walk this. Good to know. And that seems to work on Dark Souls style rules. You don't get poisoned until that bar fills up, probably. And then after that, it probably lasts a while. You want to avoid that happening, I'm sure. What's over here? Well, there's another dude over here. Ah, let's go. Let's go up. We can do some more exploring. I'm pretty sure we found the witch now, so... Well, that tells you right there. Finished the witch. Hey! Who are you? Your ghost. And you? Aksa. What brings you here? I've met an oracle. You met the oracle? You know him? Never met him, but the oracle is well known to me. So how was the oracle? Sounds like he's in danger. He wanted me to get him out of there. What? Yeah, he said someone is searching for him. Who is that someone? I don't know. The Oracle wasn't very coherent. So where is the Oracle? Did you get him out of there? No, it's... I didn't really meet him physically, I think. He was in some cave, but I reached out to him by communicating through the flesh. Oh, that is interesting. It was you who reached out first and not him? Yes. Hmm... Anyway, the Oracle is one of the Titans. I have to protect him. First, I'll have to find him. It's best to ask the other Titans, I guess. See what's up. You want help? Hmm. Well, if you want to help, journey straight east from here and visit the Philosopher. You might also ask him about your communication with the Flesh. I'll go visit another friend. Alright, so we're going east. Fine, let's meet he again here afterwards. Good luck. Okay, and she just wanders off, which is fun. What's this? Command. List all commands. Error. Insufficient access. Command. No. So this is a computer built into the inside of a hollow tree. And there's also these tree vaginas here, which are mildly upsetting. Let's see what's inside. And 
No. I see. Oh. He's like hitting the wall and his projectiles are bouncing off. No. Oof. So close to dying. Okay, so if you get caught up in the webs, that's when they try to attack you. Good to know. Interesting. That's that's interesting development for the AI. Nova, I'll get to you in a second. It's not really that hard to get out of their webs either. Got you. I can draw him out by getting stuck in the middle of the web. Nova. <laughs> Alright. So there's that. Let's see what else there is in here. I have to be ready for more spiders. Oh. Those guys don't look friendly either. No ammo. Okay. Now it's time to try out the energy weapons. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Wow. I was not expecting him to do that. Did like a rushdown attack on me. That's kind of... Threatening now that I know about it. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, so they run away from you when you're out of the web. More than I would have liked. 